Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome to Jurassic Park the game. It's finally time for us to play this one. I've been waiting for years and years to play this and I finally managed to track down a copy and you guys wanted to see me play it next. So here we go. This is the Telltale Games Jurassic Park. I love Jurassic Park and everything Jurassic Park so I cannot wait to get stuck into this one. Uh, there's T-Rex there causing trouble. We're probably going to run into one of those. I reckon maybe a couple of those. Who knows? Uh, we'll see how it goes. I don't know what to expect. This is a completely blind playthrough so we're going to jump in and see what happens. That is very loud. Excellent. <laughs> Here we go then. Begin episode. Jurassic Park can be played with either a mouse or a gamepad. Please, uh, let's go for mouse, shall we? We'll do it the full computer experience. Oh, here we go. Look, loading DNA. Here we go then. I don't know what to expect, but I'm very excited. Jurassic Park. So I think this is set during the first movie, or just after the first movie. That's all I really know about it, to be honest, what I've read on the back of the box. So, Isla Nublar, 120 miles west of Costa Rica. Here we go. Uh, in action scenes, use the arrow keys, W, A, S, or D, to complete tasks. Okay. Oh, God, we're running. Okay. Straight into the action. Uh, have we been bitten? Looks like we may have been bitten. Oh, is that the thing that Nedry stole? I think it is, isn't it? The embryos. Oh, God. Is it raptors? In exploration scenes, use the arrow keys or WASD to search for objects to click. Oh, I see. Okay. Interesting. What what can we click here? I don't really see anything we can click. Ah, okay. What's that? This doesn't sound good. What is that? Jump! Okay, it's a quick time event. <laughs> a very early Telltale Games quick time event, it turns out. <laughs> That's it, chuck that rock. That'll stop the dinosaurs. What's, what's, what was that? Oh god. Okay, what's the flashing about? Whoa, move, move the mouse to meet the target. Steady your mind. Okay. Interesting mechanic. Yeah, we should probably get out of here. Uh, some actions require a sequence of, que of key presses to complete. Why have they got lighting up eyes? That, that doesn't look right. Is this going to turn out to be like some sort of simulator or something? Uh, oh, we have to keep pressing that one, okay. It's a lot harder on the keyboard than it is on the, uh, the console versions of things. Oh my god. Wow. Alright, press. Yeah, we got it, okay. Oh no! Was that meant to happen? I feel like that was maybe meant to happen. Press it. There we go. This is uh, not going well, is it, actually? Oh. Prologue complete. Rank gold. What on earth? <laughs> What's the rank about? <laughs> to get up, click the icon and pull in the direction of the arrow. Oh, they really put some unusual mechanics into this, didn't they? Okay. Spam it. There we go. Good. Oh no. 
Run away! Is that a car? Move! Oh my god. Okay. Did we get hit? Episode 1, The Intruder. I think we got hit. Didn't sound like we got away from, from that. <laughs> Earlier that day. Here we go. It's the Jurassic Park theme music. I love the Jurassic Park music so much. Yeah, it's a great view, but where are the dinosaurs? There should be Triceratops out there. Sometimes they're kind of hard to spot. Oh, yeah? Where'd you get those? Uh, these? Yeah, those. That, um, guy gave them to me, your boss, John Hammer, or whatever. He likes me. That was generous of him. Yeah. I see jungle and stuff, but no dinos. Just look around. You'll find them. Oh, journal unlock. Okay, can we click the journal? Apparently not. Hey, right, let's, ooh, there's a zoom wait. thingy on here. We spare. What's that yellow flower? It's kind of like Mom's Bird of Paradise, only you know healthy. Sounds like Heliconia. We imported them from the mainland to brighten up the place. Cool. Uh, what's this over here? Wait, wait! I definitely see one. Oh, he just ran away. Actually, it's a she. They're all female. So, which way did she go? Hmm. Can we go down there and see the dinos up close? When I worked in San Diego, did I let you into the tiger enclosure? That was totally different. Besides, I was only like seven. Right, and you scared the daylights out of me. Uh, okay, what's this? Footprints. There's a bunch of, like, dinosaur footprints around that plant. Our Triceratops are big fans of banana leaf. They're probably nearby. Yeah, but I want to look at the fence first. Let's just have a look over here. How can we fence in the nice dinosaurs? It's safer for them, and safer for us. Herbivores can be dangerous too. Very true. Uh, why can't we look at it again? This place would be way more fun without all the fences. <laughs> yeah, I don't think fun is quite the right word. Well, I'm sure we'll find out what it's like without the fences working very soon. Um, right, we can still look at this. You guys have more flowers here than dinosaurs. Yeah, but they're good-looking flowers, right? Wouldn't it be, like, educational if I stuck around here another day or two? You know, I think your mom might miss you a bit. Are you kidding me? She'd be, like, totally happy. Oh, come on. No, she wouldn't. Yeah, she would. Ooh, what's that? Hang on, let's look here first. Prince go in the stream. Sure, the Triceratops went in for a dip. She must have come out somewhere. Probably, but I want to see what this is. This looks suspicious. What's that little bunker building? Just a maintenance shed. For dinosaurs that need repairs? <laughs> yeah, sure, we like to keep them tuned up, you know. Does that shed have a bunch of broken lawnmowers in it like our old shed? Those weren't broken. They were undergoing restoration. Sure, sure. Restoration. <gasps> there it is! Or is that a big rock? I think it's a big rock, actually. I see a... Oh, never mind. It's a rock. I see a rock. Why have they made a rock that looks exactly like a Triceratops? It's kind of weird. Maybe there's a dinosaur hiding behind that rock. I'm gonna go for unlikely. <laughs> There's a dinosaur shaking that tree. No. Nope. Ah, forget it. Just some birds. Turns out it's really hard to find dinosaurs in Jurassic Park. Unless they're trying to eat you. There's footprints coming out of the stream. You're on the right track. Car? There's a car down there. Must be Hammond's visitors. He's got some hotshot paleontologists here to see the park. I bet they get to see some dinos up close. Right, so this is set during the first film then. 
We should totally be down there. Right, where did this dinosaur go? Mr. Dinosaur, oh sorry, Mrs. Dinosaur. <gasps> I see it, it's behind the tree. Okay, I see her. Wait, there's a bunch of them. Oh, awesome. They're fighting. I totally wanted to see this. Well, actually, it's more of a dominance display than a fight. Whoa. You remember how patchy was when your mom got that new puppy? Lady Margaret's like that with the younger Triceratops. Seriously? Lady Margaret? Yep, that's what we call the Alpha. See those horns? They're more than three feet long. Good for fighting T-Rex, right? When do we get to see that? <laughs> that's not gonna happen. I'm busy enough without holding gladiator fights. You say that now, but we know how this is gonna go. <laughs> I've got a sick Triceratops to check on. I should get going. I'll drop you at the guest house. Really? Already? Well, it'll give you some time to pack your stuff. The boat leaves tonight, remember? I don't have any stuff. I practically just got here. Well, at least you gotta see Triceratops fight. Actually, it was more like a dominance display. <laughs> oh, sass. Smart ass. Come on, let's go. It's up for clear skies tonight. No fun on that boat when the waves are rough. Well done for jinxing it, because there's it's not gonna be clear skies tonight, I can tell you that much. Pretty good start though, introducing the new characters, I guess. Oh god, here we go. We're straight in. That bastard's probably stuck in a doorway somewhere. Don't worry about it. Plan B is ready. I have plan B right here. What's plan B? He's not gonna double cross us. The money's too good. No, she doesn't know your name. She doesn't know anything she doesn't need to know. Oh, it's that lady. Think it matters? Hey, guess who's on the line? It's Dodgson. I got Dodgson here. Ah, ha, ha, Dodgson. She doesn't care. <laughs> That's a nice little Easter egg, Come actually. On. My contact's gonna be here any minute. It's of course, the scene where Nedry meets Dodgson. Right. So, oh, we can look around at some different things here. Okay. How long are we gonna wait for your contact? It might be a while. Uh, according to the tracker, he's not even close. Oh, brilliant. Does InGen know you stole their jacket? This is a covert op. I gotta blend in. Yes, yeah, so what about me? Just, uh, follow my lead. Sure, sure. Uh, what's that? What's in the photo? This, this is what's gonna make us both rich. It's what we're here to collect. Shaving cream. Uh huh. <laughs> sure. Shaving cream. New dialogue available. Select the icon on the lower right to talk to Miles. Okay. Uh oh. Okay. Interesting. This storm is only gonna get worse. Just relax. Chances are Nedry's gonna show up All at the last minute. Crew, please board the vessel. We'll be casting off shortly. Son of a. Okay, I guess we're going in after him. Looks like it. If anyone stops us, show him this, this... What's the problem? We need access passes to get past security. Damn it, Dutch. I gotta make a phone call to an idiot. Don't let anyone see you. Without those passes, we're cooked. I thought we might get to discuss the other things on that wheel, but apparently not. Uh, select the icon on the lower left to explore the scene. Ooh, okay, interesting. So it's like... Several things. I looked in the envelope and checked it. Oh, I see. You, so we can. There. So that's how we go to different places, isn't it? Right. Interesting. Okay. Let's look at this. Osprey, K Neto. Okay. Can we? Okay. No, we can look at it again. I'm not sure why though. What's this? We're not going back in that ship. Definitely not. Definitely not going back on that ship. I'm sorry to tell you. What's that? Mariquita, stay warm tonight. Okay. Anything else down here? No. All right. Well, let's head over to this guy then. Ridiculous code name. If you spend more time on operational details and less time playing spy, we wouldn't have this. Uh, hang on. What? We should get going. Let's talk about more stuff. Yeah, well, we can't get going without access passes. Dodge Fine. Dodge in. Oh, what's that? 
I wouldn't do that. Anyway, I checked all my pockets and they weren't there either. All right, let's go back to that other area then here. So it's almost like security cameras, isn't it? Who's this dude? Uh, right. Anything? No, nothing there. Ooh, is that a security pass? Shed contact. What did that say? 555-7832. Okay, maybe we can ring the phone to distract him. Hello. Yeah, so I'm thinking we probably have to ring the phone. So let's go back to him. That's great. Thanks a lot. Very helpful. Well, we're hosed. Maybe not. What do you mean? Uh call the guard. I got the guard's phone number. Call him and keep him busy. What, then you sneak past and I stay here? That's not gonna work. No, Baboso. I can get us the access passes. Fine. What should I tell him? Just keep him talking. That's it. You do that. Uh, hi, hi, yes. Uh, I'm calling from payroll. Uh, we've lost some... Alright, you keep him talking. Uh, I'm gonna, like uh, I steal said, these. The morning Yoink. Yeah, but hold on. There's one more... Hey! I thought you said... Oh. Access pass is a go. Okay, that was good, but... Hey, hey, hold on a second. You work for me, remember? That means I hold call the shot. You can't go that way. Why? Hello there. Hi. We've got passes. Uh, we have passes. Well, that's good. But this is a storm evacuation. All non-essential personnel need to leave the island. You need to get on that boat. Yes. I, I mean, I, I have some, uh, some essential... Who are you with? I'm, I'm with you. I'm new. Really convincing. Her? She's she's uh, she's with maintenance. <clears throat> Go ahead, tell him. Yeah, I'm with maintenance. Uh, I'm stomach. I can't tell you. I'm a repairman. I'm a plumber. Uh, I'm a repairman. I do repairs. This storm? What exactly are you fixing? The power outage. Uh, electrical stuff. Uh, electrical wiring. It's gonna short out from the rain if I don't take care of it. What's with the machete? Uh, it's a tool. It's a good tool, all purpose. Cutting, pounding, you name it. Anchor up in five. Ah, yeah, it worked, I think. You, I don't have time for this. Do you vouch for her? What? I said, do you vouch This guy is useless. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Move your butts. Literally useless. Next time, you better let me do the talking. Let's take one like us. Why are you so bad at being like an undercover spy dude. Alright then guys, that's where we're going to leave it for this episode. A very good and interesting start. I can't wait to see what comes next, but uh, we're out of time for today, so we'll, we'll carry on in the next one, shall we? So, as always... Thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to our patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne, Nate, Terminally Nerdy, and Paul from the Phantom Fellows for all the support. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you all next time.